Hey, welcome to my next solo guide for the evolution of combat. Uh, this method is with the poison, so you will be poisoning our crew and killing crew, kind of like in the old methods um, before you get into blood phase. So it's probably not what Jagex intended on this, so it might be patched soon. Anyway, uh, onto the gear and inventory setups. Now, there is multiple choices you could uh, do. I choose to use currently the uh, Virtus method and then Pernix for ranging whenever I feel like I have enough uh, spare. Um, now you want to take Weapon Poison Plus Plus, that's the uh, 2 dose 1 at the top right underneath the Overload. The rest of it's really just um, normal setup. I do take Emerald Bolts, I was testing them for a while. They, I wasn't sure if they are working or not, but I don't know, I'm just giving you guys ideas if you want to test them, see if they work or not. Um, but otherwise I just use Royal Bolts. Now Penance is usually the best aura if you are you want to survive longer of course. Um, Runic Actory is pretty good, and it doesn't really matter the aura, it doesn't make much difference. I have been um, doing a lot of void kills now, um, but I suggest this if you're learning then swap to void later and you can use uh, a bit of melee in there if you want. But for this video I'm going to be teaching you guys with this setup here. Obviously you get the Onyx Ring Eye if you got it, but I don't have it at the moment so yeah. Um, you want to basically set your yak up like this, so when your first brew uh, appear in your bag, you know that that's halfway, so you're about halfway through your yak. That's quite handy because um, you can use brews when if you accidentally get stuck in a prison. But um, other than that, yeah, so here's some footage in the kill. Now, as soon as you go in, you basically just want to run over to Krua, or where Krua is going to be spawned, and take your dose of your overload, your prayer renewal. Um, drop a rock tail because you go in you won't be able to um, chuck your royal crossbow on. Equip with your range gear and um, yeah, just start hitting it. You Yeah, you basically just hit it and poison just kind of happened because it, it does an um, effect on, on hit. The only po uh, the poison plus plus and seeing there next, um, if you sit here and then call your yak, next will sometimes not see you. I've done kills where I get a uh, crew all the way down and next hasn't seen me yet and I have to go say, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Dread Nips do help a little bit. They're not that great, but I don't know. I've got so many there. But anyway, just, yeah, <laughs> poison this. Keep hitting it. And if Nex gets, like, really close to you, make sure you put me Melee Prey on. Um, use Mage Prey if she's far away from you. But you can use Virtus instead of using Pernix for this, but I like the extra accuracy. Um, it's kind of a reason why I think Void is a, a lot more accurate. So uh, you might get a bit more poison on it. It's a bit quicker kills. But when I get um, crew down to about 25%, I'll start hitting uh, hitting damage on necks, and like your crew will just kind of just go down. Every time uh, necks uses there is and goes down the middle, I'll put a couple of hits into crew. Might get a poison off, whatnot. But yeah, once you've got it really low and it's about to die, you can you can basically go over and start waiting at uh, Fumus, and basically do the same thing over there. But you know you don't. I just hit it like once in the there is is. Um, and just gives a little bit of help for when you want to get onto it. Um, for this method, you might, like, for the start, you might want to just use Mage and just range, like, just leave your full Virtus on um, while you're doing Crua. It does help a little bit um, on saving supplies. But here I like to use range um, with my Pernix on just because I don't really take any damage whatsoever. Unless, um, unless I stand on, like, a dot, that's really that's really the only damage I'll take. Like, it's little shitty hits. Um Reflect range will take most of that off, so you you won't take anything at all, really. Um, as as always, like rapid fire and bombardment are your best friends. The goblin face thingy is good, but yeah, it's not worth the um the adrenaline. So yeah, as you see on blood face here, it's exactly the same. Like she'll still do the siphons, but there's no reavers, so it is extremely easy. Now, if you're avoiding, you'd um you definitely want to use melee here. You can get it down in like like the first half or the second easy. Um, ranging is pretty good here. Like I'll use range when I can, unless I'm if I'm trying to defense prod and save food or whatnot. I'll obviously use mage. But yeah, so it's not gonna do a call. It's just gonna go straight into us. See there, it just went straight into us. Now where I'm standing, I went to there, the middle of it. That's where you'll be running to. So you see here, on the die now. This is um kind of the more tricky bit. Um, so I'll use anticipation. Well, on that one, usually I use anticipation, but on this one, um, so I use freedom as it gets on me and see there's only already one open now that spot there that the icicle didn't appear on uh that happens so if you're standing anywhere around that area you can run to that one square and you um yeah you you can use freedom and get out or you can use anticipation before it hits you and then yeah if you need freedom later you might need it for whatever reason 
uh, where I'm standing now, there is also another spot. So one step south of me is the spot kind of like in the middle of the table. So there, um, I've used anticipation. I don't need to use freedom. So I've, yeah, can run straight out of that. You won't be able to activate your prayers until, um, basically until you would have been hit with the prison kind of thing. Uh, you contain this is kind of annoying when she runs on top of you so just try to avoid that as much as possible but you've got about three hits or around that to um, avoid so there I was one south of the spot but I could still use it and run north and get out so yeah that's pretty much it you just want to get through this phase you won't use much food if you're using um, mage you can use rejuvenate or whatnot it's really up to yourself if what armor you use in that um, obviously I'd suggest the Vert and the Pernix obviously for the first shot but here I've um, chosen the spot west of the kind of safe spot there. So I've used uh, anticipation, uh, freedom, sorry, before. And yeah, just you have, that one's a bit more tricky because you have to, you can't spam click everywhere. You have to hit the specific spot. But once it's cooled, you want to wait for the down hour and then go out. So you've got like a full time before the next down hour. Now, contain this gets really annoying because um, next will come and basically sit on your head. Like it, most of the time, you want to have a choice. It's either take the hit, um, yeah, or I guess take the hit. <laughs> there is another safe spot here in the middle. Um, yeah, so use that like all the other ones, and kill it. The kill glaciers as fast as you can. Try to try to avoid as many prisons as you can, because they can get quite tedious. Now, the, yeah, the last phase here that is extremely easy. Like you don't need any food, obviously, if, um, <laughs> for the last phase if you're maging. Um, if not food for the whole kill if you really want a defensive uh, prod at all but you can range this phase if you have enough food obviously in that it is faster and melee is faster once again if she's range praying but you will use more food or yeah basically more food it there is there's basically two options here you can go all that dps like i am right now um, and use your i guess the metamorphosis and just go all that damage or you can try avoid damage on the soul splits and then just be kind of like normal damage on the other bits because she will heal quite a lot on the soul splits and this is by far the longest phase anyway good luck people and i hope to see some um comments there with the juicy loot you get in solo have a good one